Hello everybody! Today I'll show you how to create images in different styles using the AI Stable Diffusion. You can find the installation guide for the AI in the info card. What determines the style of an image is the checkpoint. It can be changed up here. Changing the checkpoint creates completely different pictures even if all the other settings stay exactly the same. It's possible to train a checkpoint in a certain style if you've got enough data, a lot of time and a high-end GPU, which unfortunately I don't have. Luckily enough, some people do and they have already created checkpoints. You can find our community's favorite checkpoints in the Discord section Stable Diffusion under Models if you choose the tag Checkpoint up here. With these checkpoints you can create almost anything, from real looking people to anime or cartoon characters. Some more spicy looking or not safe for work models can also be found further down. Now that you know what to do with these checkpoints, I will show you how to use them. Step 1. Download the checkpoint. Make sure it, say, it says Safe Tensor here, since Pickle Tensor is known to contain viruses. Step 2. Put checkpoint into right folder. Go to your Stable Diffusion folder, click Models, then Stable Diffusion. The next time Stable Diffusion is being started, the checkpoint will be ready for use. Using the little blue refresh button will work as well. Now you just have to select your new checkpoint and you're good to go. And one last thing you need to know, there are those so-called in-paint checkpoints. These are checkpoints optimized for the image-to-image in-paint function. This function lets you change pictures or add on to them. On our Discord you can find in-paint checkpoints in the model section under in-paint. Keep these in-point checkpoints in mind for later in case you want to change your image to at one point. In the next video of this series, I'll show you how you can generate your favorite characters with the help of a LoRa. You can find this video here. And you can find the whole playlist of Stable Diffusion Basics here. Until next time, bye bye!